What's up guys? Today I just wanted to do a comparison video from the BBS HD to the BBS O2 by Bifang and give you my thoughts of it. Uh, I've, I've ridden the HD about 3,100 miles or something like that. I'd have to look exactly, but something like that. And the BBS O2, which is on this bike, I just put it on yesterday and I took my first ride with it. And I just wanted to make this video because I'm pretty stoked about this thing. So this bike right here is a gravity. It's a piece of junk, but it has like a weird rear triangle and a suspension. I wanted to just try this motor on here. I kind of bought this as a secondary motor to swap around a bunch of different bikes that I have. Some kind of a bike hoarder. And um, this is just like a super budget build. I put these Maxxis tires on it. Came with a WTB seat. And I got these uh, Zoom hydraulic brakes on it. And I just was kind of messing around with it. I put the motor on there. It's totally not wired like well at all and totally crap. But I took my first ride on it and I wanted to share my thoughts because I'm super excited about this motor. This has been the bike that I've been riding, has the BBS HD on it, and I had a how long battery in here. Um, Got the BMX bars for super dad points. I put my little kid right here, so it's really nice to have the bars way up high. Don't judge. But anyways, I wanted to buy this BBS O2 motor and try this out because I'm having a couple of issues with the BBS HD. And I just want to talk about that a little bit in this video. No mechanical issues, no nothing like that. The BBS HD has actually held up phenomenal. Um, I grease it every 800 miles, 700 miles or something like that, and it's doing awesome. Um, sometimes you get some noises out of it. You kind of take everything apart, kind of re-grease everything, put it back together, just like a regular bike and everything, like the creaks and all that crap stuff goes away. But I'm getting to the point where I don't want an e-bike for like a motorcycle style. I started with uh, some hub motors that I had. I did like a thousand miles on hub motors and you like twist throttle, like it's like a motorcycle. It's fun, it was definitely fun, but I wanna like ride. I'm trying to like get back in shape and stuff and I wanna ride my bike and not just ride a motorcycle, right? So one thing is, the main thing that started all of this is I ride with this battery usually. I had the triangle battery. 20 amp hour, 48 volt, and it was just way too big to fit in any frame that I am that I have, because I'm a small dude, I'm like 5'5", five five, so the, those triangle batteries are for huge bikes, and you don't really need it. So then I got something like this, which is way more up my alley, was more what you need, a 13 amp hour, 48 volt battery, and this is held up all right, but when I come home from my rides, I'm usually now only at like 90%, maybe 87 or something like that. So I looked around on the internet and I found this guy. And this is a 48 volt, six amp hour battery. Uh, super small, it probably weighs like, I don't know, four, three pounds, four pounds. I should weigh them and get a comparison, but how long battery? Six amp hour battery. You can totally tell how much lighter weight I'm riding with. So riding with the BBS HD uh, pulls like 1200 watts of power, or maybe 1300 peak. They say it's 1500 watt, but my display at least never says 1500 watts, it says like 12 or 13. So this battery is fun with that bike, but I wanted something more nimble and light and something more rideable and less an e-bike, if that makes sense. More of like a bike bike with a little bit of e-biking on it. So I went with the smaller battery and I've ridden the bike around a little bit with it. Um, it gives me about 10% to do my normal like six mile ride. Uh, I only use about 10% of this on the, on the BBS HD. But I was, I was wanting even a lighter bike. Um, after getting the light battery, I'm like, oh, that's nice. So I, I bought the BBS O2 and I put it on this bike and I went on one ride so far with the small battery and that. And I basically turned off the e-bike for most of the ride and just rode the bike when I got to like flat gravel, Nice trail. I didn't. I don't. I don't need. I do that with the HD two sometimes, but uh, I didn't need the battery. I didn't even need the e-bike motor to even pull around the weight of the motor or the the battery. The bike is still pretty decently light, being an e-bike at least, uh, with the BBS O two. So super happy with that. I did probably like a three mile ride yesterday, and I didn't even use one percent of this battery. Awesome. It's pulling a lot less wattage too. The tune out of the factory is terrible. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, I have all the cables to tune it. I've tuned the HD to the way I like it. I've done, I did like for like a month, I just 
did all the settings the way I want it. It, dri it drives way better now than what this thing does. I forgot how bad it was without being tuned. But um, I'm gonna tune it up. Obviously I have a lot to do on that bike, but I'm gonna tune it up and make it really nice. But the thing that I wanted to talk about more than anything was the chain line. The chain line on the HD, it sticks out like a full inch from the bottom bracket. And the chain line is just super crooked to try to get up into a high gear, so much so that I, eat, I was dropping chain and I bought like a chain guide for the bike. And it seems to help, but when it's up in the high gear, it'll work, but it like chatters against the, the, chain, guard, the chain guard and it just kind of goes on this angle that I'm not comfortable with. And when I'm out in the forest and I'm deep in the forest, I don't want my chain dropping. You know, it's not something that I want to deal with, you know, if I don't need to. And the BBSO2, even in the highest gear, the chain line is like straight on. So I'll add some clips in here of the two um, chain guides of the HD and of the BBSO2. But made a huge difference. Even when just the weight being a lot better and the chain line being a lot better, I was able to ride the bike more like a bike and less like an e-bike, which is actually my goal. But I do like having an e-bike. Once you have an e-bike, you like can't not have an e-bike anymore. I don't know how if if you're just spoiled, but it's fun to like come out of the trail and then just like bzz, home because I don't want to ride. I don't really care to ride the gravel, like the asphalt. It's just boring. It's just, I'd rather be in nature riding, you know, so I can like zip to the forest, which admittedly is only one block away, but maybe I go nine blocks to get in the better entrance. Anyways, I could just zip there and then ride through the trails and enjoy nature is what I want to do every day instead of like riding. And I used to ride on um, Minion DHRs on the street, it's just terrible. E-biking with those tires, like way better. But I've since switched to the Continental Trail Kings, I think they're called, Cross Kings, awesome tires. And then I got the Maxxis Icons on the Gravity and those just roll so smooth too. I mostly ride gravel stuff is what I kind of like, like the wider gravel trail. I just want to be in nature rather than in this and in the city and all my crap. So, um, yeah, getting out in nature is kind of my whole objective of everything. And riding with this super light battery and super small motor has been like a game changer for me. Even in the first ride, I'm super pumped to work on this bike today. I want to clean it up a whole bunch. I'm going to go on another ride. And um, eat. what I wanted to say, another thing I wanted to say was I thought that the power was going to be super reduced in the in the O2 and I wasn't going to enjoy it. But we the first, if I go in basically in the main trail, there's this grade that I'll film, I'll go film it. So I'll put the B roll in right now, but there's this grade there. That's like pretty, it's pretty steep. And even with the HD, I just crank the, the throttle. I think my throttle set up at 80% when I do the throttle and I just crank the throttle and pedal at the same time to try to get up this hill. And yesterday I just wanted to see what the O2 would do. And I put it up in a higher gear and on pedal assist two and just climbed like it was nothing. Um, again, I should be, putting a clip in right now of me riding up it. Um, but what a drastic difference. I'm super impressed with having a lighter bike, this lighter battery, having better chain line and being able to like ride the bike more like a bike and less like an e-bike and get myself in shape. Cause that's the best part of riding a bike is getting that exercise, getting your blood moving, getting it all happening. Um, E-bikes are fun, you know, definitely I've done like 4,000 something miles on an e-bike, they're super fun, but you know, there comes a time where you want to be like doing more exercising again rather than e-biking, right? It's kind of like owning a motorcycle and owning a bike. Sometimes you just want to ride the bike, sometimes you want to ride the motorcycle. E-bike's kind of the middle of the ground. You can ride the bike and ride the motorcycle and you don't have to register, you don't have to get plates, you don't have to get insurance, you don't have to get nothing and you can just dip off in the forest and ride it, it's awesome. So e-bike is for the win for always, but um, Really, my comparison with this video is comparing the BBS O2 with the BBS HD and my thoughts about it so far. I'm kind of hooked on this O2. I'm going to ride it some more, but I'm thinking about putting this HD on another bike and selling it as like an e-bike and use the money that I make from that to buy like another one or two O2s and put them on other bikes that I have because I got kind of uh, a lot of bikes going on. I got to sell some bikes. If I make one an e-bike, maybe I can get a lot more money for it. So anyways, um, that was my thought though about the BBS O2 and the BBS HD. If you're thinking about either one of them uh, and you want to ride a bike more than have like a motorcycle, um, I would definitely go with the O2. It's soup. It's awesome. It's great. And, uh, you know, maybe if you had a fat bike, I think, um, 
there's Johnny Nerd Out is another YouTuber that talks about e-bikes that I watch, and he he says kind of the same thing. He was kind of the inspiration of me even buying the O2 because I was like, I don't even, I think that's gonna be underpowered. I'm not gonna like that, but phew, I'm blown away by this motor. It's awesome. It's so light. The chain line is better and it climbs it climbs so if you if you do have like a fat bike which i do i kind of want to sell this hd and put an hd on my, my fat bike too and ride that you know because maybe you need more power you can under inflate the tires and use that and have the power take up take over the under inflated tires you know so anyways getting a little sidetracked but the bbs02 is phenomenal i'll leave a link in the description below it is an affiliate link you don't pay anything more but i get paid if you buy that or anything from amazon so if you're just an amazon shopper just click the link and then don't buy anything from me and in 24 hours if you buy anything i get a little commission off it so it's super cool for me to make these videos you can help me out that way just clicking a link and doing nothing with nothing so uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions about the BBS O2 versus the BBS HD, ask away in the comments. I'd be happy to make some more videos or talk about them. I'm super uh, into biking and into e-bikes. So this channel also was about Honda Elements and political stuff, but I'm all over the place. I have tons of hobbies and interests and uh, e-biking and biking in general is just uh, something I do every day and I love to do it and I'm super into it. So if you do like anything want, and wanna watch more videos about bikes or anything, um, give me a subscribe and leave in the comments anything you'd like me to talk about. I'd love to hear what you want me to make videos about. So that's all, peace guys, thanks so much for watching.